is a better way to handle your tech. Hi Sharks, my name's Justin. This is my business partner, Mike. We're in the tank today seeking $250,000 in exchange for 8% of our company that revolutionizes the way active, busy people interact with their smartphones. Sharks, meet Mike. Mike, meet the sharks. <laughs> what up, Mike? Hey, Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike, we're on national television, oh. Mike. Sorry, I, I have my earbuds in. Let me just pause my tunes real quick. Just, uh, mm. Oh, God. <laughs> that didn't work. Let me just... Ah, my earbud. <laughs> oh, no. You see, every time Mr. Mikey struggles over here, wants to play, pause, or adjust his volume, this is the hilarity that ensues. But now, with our invention, Mikey struggles no more. This is Chubby Buttons, <laughs> the ultimate wearable remote for action sports. That's what I'm talking about. With Chubby Buttons, I have total control over all the essential functions of my smartphone while I have my gloves on. My hands stay warm, my phone stays in my pocket, safe from all the elements. I'm able to focus my attention ahead while shredding safely down the mountain. Or... <laughs> <laughs> riding the open road. And Chubby Buttons isn't just for outdoor enthusiasts. Our customers are constantly finding new ways to press our buttons. With our nano stick backing, you could even use it around the house, whether you're cooking in the kitchen with messy hands or even sing along in the shower. It sticks magically to most non porous surfaces, just like this. It's a better way to interact with your smartphone. So, sharks, who, who wants, wants to make, make a fast second cash with Chubby, chubby Buttons? buttons. Ta-da! So in front of you, you'll notice we gave you a couple of Chubby Buttons units. It Bluetooth connects to my phone? It sure does. Barbara, you know, you're the queen skier of the group, so we would love if you could put on those gloves we gave you. Yes. So it's actually already hooked up to my phone right here. So let's say we're about to, you know, start skiing down the mountain, and, you know, we got some, some tunes playing, right? Oh, yeah. Right? Now, this song's good, but could be a little better. Maybe you could hit the plus button, increase the volume. Yeah. <laughs> get a little louder. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Shake it up, Barb. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you can press play again. All right, so let's just say that, you know, you're listening to music just like that. We can control all the media from your smartphone, or you can pick up phone calls. You can decline phone calls. It was very easy to work, and you can do nothing in a ski glove, right. honestly. Nothing, right? right? People right. on the mountain are always taking the ski glove off all day long. Yeah, that's, not, that's how we started the company. We've been best friends since we're 13. We went to high school together, and every year we do a trip somewhere. And one year we went on a ski trip to Colorado, and I was listening to music. The problem was this whole fiasco that I presented here actually happened in real time. At, at a certain point I said, Justin, I just wish there was a big fat button I could use to control my phone. And we kind of looked at each other and <laughs> our gears started going and we, we kind of thought that big fat buttons may not have been the best marketing word for this, so we molded around a little bit, ended up with chubby buttons. Chubby's better. Essentially that. <laughs> How long has it been in the market? We've been actively selling for three years. So and you what are sales. lifetime sales? So in 2021, we brought in 500,000 of top line revenue. Wow. In 2022, wow. we brought in 600,000 in top line revenue. And what do you sell them for and what do they cost you to make? So it's about 1157 and 1337 landed. And we sell them for 7999. Wow. 7999. 83% margins. And what percentage of your sales, the five to $600,000 are you spending on marketing? Yeah, we do spend about between twelve and fifteen thousand dollars per month. So what's the customer spend? acquisition cost? Twenty six dollars and eighty six cents per year. What's the biggest application for the product? Is yeah. it skiing? So Ski when we created it, it was mainly for skiers and snowboarders. But we had no idea that all these other people wanted to use it: yeah. motorcyclists, yeah. pilots, uh, boxers, pilots, choreographers. Yeah. sailors too. They bring it on their boat and they adhere it because they're busy fishermen. with ropes and fishermen. Uh, it, is it waterproof? It's water it's resistant. resistant. So you yeah, can take it into the shower. People have adhered to their jet skis and yeah, so guys, so the simple fun. story of this product, you you make it and your customer acquisition costs combined are 40 bucks. You sell it for 80 bucks. You make $40 of contribution. That's basically what's going on here. You take that, you buy more inventory, right? right? You haven't taken any money out of the business yet? Mm. No, so we have one investor right now. How much did he put in? So $250,000 was the initial investment. Guys, I'll clear the deck some, look. 
I think there's a real risk from voice automated products like Alexa headphones or Google headphones. It's just not a fit for me. So for those reasons, I'm out. It's nothing I could help with, honestly. It's not for me, I'm out. Look, guys, I don't know if it's going to survive long term because yeah. I do think AirPods mm -hmm. are getting more sophisticated. I, I mean, I just see a technical obsolescence to it, mm -hmm. but I wish you all the best. I'm out. That's Thank fine. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're really nice guys. I mean, honestly, like you have so much fun up there. I can see that your relationship is really wonderful. Yeah. And I think it's really smart product. Thank you. No, I'm not super techy mm. person. I know enough, but I just, I, I can't predict like what's right. going to be the next thing, how soon. I'm sorry, I'm out. Well, listen, it's such a simple product. I like it. Here's an offer, all right? I'll give you the 250,000, I want 10%. I want a royalty, of course, mm -hmm. but I'm not that greedy. Okay. I'm gonna take 10 bucks a unit till I get back a million bucks. I get three X on my money. And then we ride off into the sunset, mm. hoping that this product turns into a company, because I'm hoping you guys come up with some other ideas. We do make, once all is said and done, about $12 per unit. So it's about a 15%. It's not, it's not oh, perpetual. Then you cannot. It, it, you know, we can't yeah. do a $10, $10 dollar royalty, it's a lot. You can counter. The royalty is, uh, is a little steep for us. I think that we wouldn't mind doing a $2 royalty. Ooh. Could you really afford that? Let me think about that. I will be 178 years old when I get paid back. 278, Kevin, well, you forgot about a millennial. This. We have six. We have, we have a couple of thousand units in stock. With your help, we're making more. We're making about 16,500 units. It's not a company yet, it's a product. It's a good product. Mm -hmm. I could see using it. I mean, all of those things are great, but it's gotta be a $10 royalty. Yeah, it's a little tight. Kevin, you're gonna bankrupt them at $10 no. a unit. Your customer acquisition cost is likely to go down now that you're on Shark Tank. Right. Yes. And so that's what I'm betting on, that you'll be able to, you can afford to pay me back. It's not my fault that you asked me for a quarter of a million dollars for basically, you know, a nice it, little product, but that's a lot of money. A quick question, instead of a royalty that you've described, if we were to have a higher equity portion for you, would that be something that would... No, be because the reason you want me to get a royalty, I know this may sound crazy to you, but our incentives are aligned. Mm -hmm. I want you to sell more units. Right. It is, I, but Kevin, why wouldn't you go up in, in the percentage? It's always interesting to hear this right. on the other sides, but they're not writing checks. He's you know what got they're a point actually there. saying? No checks, no checks, no checks. <laughs> so look, it's okay if you don't take it. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, mm -hmm. I'll still be Mr. Wonderful. Right now. Unfortunately. Would you go down to a $3 world? No. You're not selling enough units. Well, with your help, I would imagine we could be selling a lot more. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that's the case, because right. I'd like to get back my 250 But wouldn't you also like to be part of the business for longer than it takes to sell us out of business? Once I put it in my portfolio, my team goes to work. What do you think I do? I try and think of all the companies over the years I've I sold. forbid you to give him royalty like that. <laughs> We'd like to counter by offering 15% for 250 as an equity. We want to raise it to compensate for you. And um, a royalty of $1 per unit until you make your investment back. No. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate Good it. Luck. Thank you, Sharks. Thank you, Sharks. <laughs> Strong stuff. Strong stuff. I think we did our best we could. I think we really explained what our product was as clearly as we could to everybody. They recognized the value. I just think it's unfortunate. I think they're missing out on an opportunity that for a great, great company.